Hello, everybody! Welcome! Whoops, we're good. Hey, this is now gonna be a hallmark of my videos. So, it is raining, it is thundering, it is lightning. My cat is hiding under my bed. And instead of working on what I should be working, which is my, my projects from work and my freelance, I'm going to be getting a let's play that I will finish because I am the only commenter. And I apologize for that. We are going to be doing Pepper's Adventures in Time, which is quite possibly... No, it's not quite possibly it is. It is the first game I ever beat as a child when I was at the ripe age of eight years old. It is intelligent. It is funny. Um, I went on about Echo Quest like it was the greatest game ever. We'll just wait for Peppers. All right. Um, the introduction is kind of boring if you haven't played the game, but what the hell. Uh, I'll, I'll just add some commentary. The introduction is basically the credits. This is Pepper Pumpernickel and Newshound Lockjaw reporting live from Pepper's Adventures in Time. Addition you need to click. Let's talk to a few witnesses and see if they'll give us a reaction to this bizarre new twist in time and space. Hey, Miss Sentime, did you know that Mark Sieber is the producer? That's nice, Pepper, but I gotta go produce breakfast now. See ya. I also do not, um, these characters' voices will not be consistent with the voices in the rest of the game, and for that I apologize. Mr. Anu, did you know that the director was the whole Team Tribal Bite? Team Tribal Bite, that's cool. Tribal what? Oh, go away. My life has no direction, and I like it that way. Ugh, I love this game. Ha! <laughs> oh, you'll be seeing the mailman later. Good morning, Mr. Chomp Fodder. Did you know this game is based on our original concept by Bill Davis? Oh, uh, that's nice. Peppa, could you call off your... I still remember some of the sound effects. Yikes! Shame on you, Lockjaw. Oh, hi, Mrs. Vitroli. I'd like you to know that this game was designed by Gan O'Hain, Jane Jensen, Josh Mandel, and Lorelai Shannon. Oh, you see our nerds, you recognize some of those names. And guess what? Lorelai wrote all the text and dialogue. You can tell. Lorelai Shannon has a penchant for humor. A conspiracy! Conspiracy! I knew it! Our narr narrator can't pronounce anything. Narr Kiss the cook! Oh, hi, Mr. Speckroyd. Guess what? The lead artist is Jim Larson. Really? The lead animator is Tony Margaroni. And the lead programmer is Carlos Escobar. Good. Hispanic. I can pronounce that. <laughs> so what? So who's the lead chef, huh? Oh my god, I'm totally gonna make him Brooklyn for the rest of the game. Good morning, Miss Gumflapper. Were you aware that Neil Grandstaff did the music for the game? Musicians! Hm. Let me tell you a thing or two about musicians, young lady. Oh, and I love these guys. They're the only characters that are dressed the same. Hey, Will and Ned. The artists are Terry Falls, Maria Fru, Darlo Gams, Tony Magaroni, Jim Larson, and Al Ruffton. Oh, wow, they sound cool, dude. Totally. Do they party? Bring them over here, do that. I like how Pepper is nine, and they're like, yeah, let's party with her. Hey, Miss Maple Bar. The programmers are Kim Bowdish, Chris Card, Hugh Diedrichs, Carlos Escobar, and Thaddeus Pritchard. Oh, that's nice, Pepper dear. Why don't y'all come over for supper tonight? Yes, I am randomly making people say. Am not. Ah, too. Am not. Ah, too. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cranky. Were you aware that Dan Woolard is the senior QA analyst? Oh, yeah? Can he assure me a better quality husband than this one? Hey! And we have gone. Well, I'll see y'all later. Pepper is basically me, so she's gonna talk however she feels. Okay, go to the very beginning. Act 1. Pepper travels through time. Or... Colonial Crash Landing. Or how I would have... Or Colonel... Colonial... 
<laughs> no, we're not going to go there. Um, welcome. This is Pepper's beautiful home in Fresno, California. And if you're wondering how I know it's Fresno, I will show you that later in the game. Sorry, excuse me. Need a little sip of water. Anyway, um, this game is ripe with humor, little Easter eggs. Mmm, she stepped in it. Yuck. Nasty. Like I said, anyway. A sassy blue jay is sitting in a nest in her tree. I like that the blue jay is sassy. The blue jay seems to be getting ready for something. <laughs> oh, it's... Yikes, that's the biggest Easter egg I ever saw. And we start off with a bang here at Pepper's Adventures in Time. Okay, now we have to step in this on purpose. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We stepped in it. This time she takes it and puts it in her pocket, which is a little disgusting. Um, I'm going to follow the school of thought that she takes it and places it in, in her purse, because that's just slightly less disgusting. Um, first I'm going to collect... Ooh, first let's uh, up our speed and up our text. I want details. Many of them. I got that quote from Luca Jin. I shamelessly stole it. Hmm, I wonder what I could do with this broken piece of drain pipe. <laughs> I don't know, what could you do? Um, let's look around. It's Lockjaw's doghouse. <laughs> it's Lockjaw, 30 pounds of canine attitude and lots of teeth. I love Lockjaw. It's Lockjaw's water bowl. Mrs. O'Brien's flowers are beautiful and she guards them like a pit bull. Too bad she looks like one too. It's Mrs. O'Brien's window. She seems to be able to see through it even when the blinds are closed. The upper part of the drain pipe is still attached to the house, but the bottom section is broken off. Probably because you were messing with it, Pepper. It's Pepper's kitchen window. Yeah, well, this is great and all, and adventuring has been fantastic, but see a fur face. I'm gonna go inside for a while. I am not Frank Welker, I'm sorry. You can't come in. Dad's still mad at you for yanking down the tablecloth and all the breakfast dishes. It was pretty funny though. Incredible flying sauces missiles, yikes. Wine, wine, yip, yip, yip. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna go with that. Whoops, uh, I didn't mean, yep, Pepper's still here. Uh, let's click through, what's the last thing she says? All right, all right, you big baby, I'll stay out here with you for a while. Let's pet Lockjaw. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I love my, my animals. I have a rabbit and two cats right now. How about a drink, bud? And you know what animals like? Water. <laughs> uh, I, I'm told that everyone is a big fan of surviving, but I don't actually know that. And you know what? How Do you want some more? Here you go, bud. Come on, LJ. His name is Live Journal. He's filled with lots of angst. Oh, and then he went on the tree. I'm doing it. I'm doing the Let's Play of Pepper's Adventures in Time. Everyone, my father's here. Say hello. Hello. Yeah. So, <laughs> I figured it was the perfect weather for it. But, so anyway, uh, unfortunately you can't talk to the Blue Jay. She has nothing to say. Oh, we can call her Bird Woman, though. That's pretty cool. I'd be wheezing, too, if I gave birth to an egg that big. Good boy. Good luck, Jaw. Come and talk to Miss... Yo, Mrs. O! Mrs. O'Brien can't hear Pepper. Her TV is turned up too loud. Hey, you know what, though? When I was a kid, I liked to pick flowers. Hey, Lockjaw, I think I'm gonna pick one of Mrs. O'Brien's flowers for Mom. Hey, I told you and that mutt to keep away from my flowers, Missy. Just look at them poles he's made in my flower bed. Can I touch her? Mrs. O'Brien. Pepper doesn't want to touch Mrs. O'Brien, would you? Tell me, Mrs. O, why do you hate dogs? Were you terrorized by a chihuahua as a child? Don't you get smart with me, young lady. If that dog comes near my flower bed, I'll make cocktail sausages out of him. So what's causing your foul mood today, Mrs. O? Did they cancel one of your soap operas? I'll tell you what's wrong, Missy. Your rotten dog has been burying things in my flower bed. He's killed most of my flowers. I don't want to even think about what he might have hidden down there. 
Ugh, I apologize. Okay, Lockjaw, the coast is clear. I'm gonna try and get a flower again. Didn't I tell you to stay away from my flowers? What's wrong with you, girl? Are you deaf? That's rude. Maybe she's half deaf. Between Uncle Fred trying to blow up the attic and you yelling at me, I'm probably going to go deaf. Hm. Um, some of this might have creative reading, and for that I apologize. D, jeez, does she have a flower detector or something? I can't help it, Lockjaw. I've got to try again. Missy, if you come one step closer to those flowers or so help me, I will call the dog catcher. You can't do that, Mrs. O'Brien. Lockjaw's nowhere near your flowers. He's not hurting anything. Well, that's not how I see it. He's a, 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 a flower murderer. That's what, and so are you. Haven't you ever heard perseverance pays off? One little flower, that's all I want? It's not so bad, is it, Lockjaw? To heck with it, I'm gonna try again. Pepper pumper, Pumpernickel, if you and that hyena in a dog suit touch one more flower petal, I'll come right out that window and tan your hides myself. Oh yeah, like you could really catch us. Whoa, Pepper's giving her a massive exchange of attitude. What did you say, young lady? Uh, I said Lockjaw's a really nice dog, Mrs. O'Brien. You should try and get to know him. Oh, I know him all right. I know he digs up my flowers, knocks over my garbage cans, and chases every cat in the neighborhood. He's a menace. That's what. But he's a good dog. Humph! Go away, you little hooligan! Now! Um, I like to imagine that Mrs. O'Brien has spent many years smoking. Pepper just doesn't know when to give up. You! 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 Get out of there! And that's it. You, you can't pester her anymore, which is too bad. Um, I think we've pretty much explored everything that we can. It's a nice old tree. So, on to actually getting the game done. Uh, unfortunately, Pepper won't chew this gum herself because she's intelligent and she knows it's disgusting. However, we can be terrible pet owners and give it to the dog. Here you go, Lockjaw. Just what you always wanted. He's really pretty talented, actually. This little animation. <laughs> wow, what a totally talented dog. I must have remembered that, and I apologize. I will. I promise I will not be that irritating person who's seen a movie a thousand times and say the lines before they happen. I love Lockjaw's little bug eyes. They're like the creepiest. I like to think he's kind of like a pit bull, chihuahua, um... Maybe a little bit beagle mix. Just something ridiculous. Check it out, Lockjaw. It's stuck. I'm not really sure how you would come up with this. I'm told that there's a movie that uses this exact same... Hey, it's stuck. Excellent. Oh, I should probably give Pepper a little bit more of a Valley Girl accent. But because I grew up um, in California, partially NorCal, partially so SoCal... Um, I imagine she talks kind of like me. Hmm, maybe I'll just shinny up on this drain pipe. Uh-oh, better not. The parental units are in the kitchen. I love Pepper's dad's nose. I can't take this noise anymore. Uncle Fred's got to go back to the nursing home. Honey, you know they won't take him back. He blew up the shuffleboard courts. So what's he doing in my attic? The door's always locked. Terrible banging noises night and day. I tell you, the guy is evil. Hush, darling. He might hear you. I don't know why her mom is southern. I doubt if he can hear anything over that noise. I can't stand this anymore. Do something. He's your Uncle Fred. I'll ask him to be quieter, I promise. He's really a sweet old man. Oops, little ears. Sweet old man, my foot. I wonder what he's really doing up there. Let's go find out for ourselves, Lockjaw. Ruff! And they slide off. Lockjaw, let go of my leg, you hairball. Mm, wine. What, you want to go with me? Uh-huh. And how do you expect me to get you up there, huh? You hid your harness. Well, go get it, boy. Go fetch. And this is one of the coolest aspects of the game. Who's wanted to ever play as a dog? Well, even if you haven't, you now have the opportunity in Pepper's Adventures in Time. Uh, you can do ridiculous things, like Lockjaw gets in trouble when he chews up his doghouse. Everyone gets mad when at Lockjaw when he chews up the trees, so he decides not to. 
Lockjaw is sure that Blue Jay would make a lovely snack, but he just can't reach her. Lockjaw would get in big trouble for doing that. Lockjaw would never bite Pepper. He's a good boy. Uh, did we have different opinions? It's Lockjaw's doghouse. Oh, that's Pepper. Um, what's cool about Lockjaw is he has the ability to smell. Humans can smell, but not quite as well as dogs. Lockjaw likes the smell of home. The apple tree smells like bark, sunshine, and nice fresh apples. The bird is too far away to smell, but Lockjaw's bed smells good. Lockjaw deeply inhales pepper scent. Ah. What's he gonna say if we... Lockjaw's water bowl smells pretty good, at least to Lockjaw. Lockjaw smells flowers, dirt, and his harness! Mrs. O'Brien's window smells like glass, dust, and Mrs. O'Brien's aftershave. <laughs> That's funny. Um, also, the cool thing about Lockjaw is in his inventory, he always has fleas. No, thanks, boy. I don't need that right now. If you try and... That wouldn't do Lockjaw any good. Can we give the bird fleas? No, well. The, the fleas come in handy later. Lockjaw has as many fleas as he can possibly carry. Um, I like their little illustration. In real life, I really hate fleas. It's Lockjaw's collection of savage sabertooth, sabertooth fleas. Saber. But these fleas are kind of adorable. Um, Alright, so... With that being said, this is kind of Lockjaw's version. Lockjaw does want to go into the doghouse right now. He's having too much fun. Lockjaw knows he can't paw apples out of the tree. Can we jump? Lockjaw resists the temptation to jump into Pepper's arms. That's adorable. Can we scratch at the door? Wine, wine, yip, yip, yip. They're not going to let you in. You're in the doghouse. Get it? <laughs> um... Lockjaw won't get close to Mrs. O'Brien's window. She might grab him and take him to the pound. Well, we've done pretty much everything, so before I end this video, we're going to, uh, actually, I, I have a, a couple more minutes. Lockjaw suddenly remembers where his harness is. Oh, oh no! Get out of there, you horrid animal! Pepper, stop your dog! Lockjaw, come here! Good boy. He's a good boy. Oh. Good, good, Pepper Pumpernickel. Your dog is the worst creature I've ever seen. Well, I like you anyway, Lockjaw. Ruff. All right, before we end this video, let's go up to the roof. That seems like a good way to end. It looks a little dirty, but at least you didn't chew it up, Lockjaw. Chew it up, Lockjaw. This is a really bizarre puzzle solve, but, you know... Come here, Lockjaw. Come here, boy. Let's put on your harness. Mm, not. You want to stay down here, then? Uh-uh. <laughs> Lockjaw, what are you doing, you weird dog? Let go. Uh-uh. Well, okay, but don't come whining to me when you fall off and land on that big pointy nose of yours. <laughs> he looks like a teddy bear. Let's see. I think I could make it up here. Um, I'm not... I don't know why she just doesn't automatically crawl up. All right. To me, the point should be pulling the dog up, but, you know. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, Lockjaw. Here, let me pull you up, boy. But see, then the game automatically pulls up Lockjaw. I don't know. Poor thing, you were hanging there like a fat old spider. <laughs> and yes, I know I'm going between automatopias and reading it. Um, I'm not going to further the game just yet because it the next part of the game is um, a significant amount of time. But I thank you for joining me for the first uh, 20 points in Pepper's Adventures in Time. You can see Mrs. O'Brien's house. Um, hmm, I hope Mrs. O'Brien can't see me. She'd probably call my folks or the cops because she's a creepy lady. And I think I'll end on something that I always thought was great as a kid. Pepper doesn't want to jump into the apple tree. She wants to spy on Uncle Fred. Pepper's kind of awesome that she even considered jumping into the apple tree. I also want to mention, on a party note, this looks nothing like Fresno. Oh well. Thank you everybody, I'll see y'all soon.